The name zero comes from the fact that they trained it on zero uh, amounts of human data. And it's it's just like AlphaGo mm -hmm. zero, you may remember. So AlphaGo was trained by DeepMind in 2016 um, to play the game of Go. It was trained on uh, millions of games of uh, humans playing Go. It achieved uh, amazing capabilities. It, it beat the world champion Lisa Dahl, I think four to one in, a, in that famous match. But what was really interesting is shortly after that, they trained AlphaGo Zero. And that version of the model was given no human curated data. It had to learn to play Go by itself. Mm -hmm. And it started off, it actually performed much, much worse than um, the baseline that AlphaGo did. But through self-play, was able to achieve higher overall performance. And, and I think after, with, I think they trained it for three days. And then they played AlphaGo versus AlphaGo Zero. And it AlphaGo zero beat AlphaGo uh, 100 games to zero. So it was a much, much, much stronger uh, system because it wasn't limited to just sort of human capabilities, human strategies and mm -hmm. things like that. They're taking a very similar approach here. So they trained a model called Alpha, I'm sorry, Absolute Zero Reasoner. And this is a language, a large language model. I believe it was Quinn 